I feel hungry. <laughs> Anybody got a cheeseburger? <laughs> I'm really excited, you know. Dallas is, he's undoubtedly the best dog racer there is, and I'm proud to be here with him, and proud of him in every way. He's, he's, he's outstanding, and he's, he's outstanding person as well. Dallas is a believer. If it's out there to be achieved, it's, he just thinks it's already his. And uh, usually he turns out to be right. Do you take some ownership as well, I mean, in his success? Of course, absolutely. Yeah, and, and he, would, he would go right along with that, as my dad takes pride and ownership and, you know, the whole clan being in dogs and, and my success because we do work together, but you're, you're fortunate if you can inherit something like that from, you know, generations and you pay back by passing it on to the next. So whether it be mushing or some other good principles that you learn. So we just, we're just blessed to have this to do together. And, uh, but certainly I'm very proud of him. I keep saying it, might, you might get tired of hearing it, but I feel like I have two chances to win because if Dallas wins, I'm, I'm really, really happy. Except this close, I could have almost got him. <laughs> I'd still love to win again, so. What do you think the difference was? This year, I think, well, I think the biggest difference for me was just not having my old steady leaders that I'm used to. I've been training a new generation of leaders, and we had four untimely, un, you know, unanticipated little injuries and things that came up that my four leaders that were five and six year olds are not here. So we had a whole truckload of three year olds to work with. <laughs> and three is as young as I bring them out on the Iditarod for me. So they're good leaders. They just, there's a difference between being a good leader in training and having that just absolute determination. Those finishers, you know, those are special. And uh, we're, we're making some here, so. Yeah, the, so the leaders, Dallas, he's a little ahead of me on the trailer technology, the caboose and all that, carrying dogs, and he's more willing to put more work into that than I am, loading dogs in and out of the caboose and, tr you know, rest schedule with all of that. Um, you know, he can run up and down the mountains, but I just have 10 dogs and he has six, and I don't have to run up and down mountains. 